Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Akshit and you're watching Disney Channel. In this video, I'm back with another tip for JE and specifically I'll be talking about revision strategy. I'll talk about my revision strategy that I use to revise the syllabus two or three times effectively and without getting bored of the entire syllabus or JE itself. Once you're done with your syllabus, the next task is obviously revision and it's a really important task. Don't take it lightly. If you don't revise properly, your entire hard work, your entire preparation might just go to waste. So do not take revision lightly. You have to pay full attention to it. The main focus of my strategy is, well, mock tests. I have built the entire revision strategy around mock tests because of two main problems that I was facing during my own revision. The first problem that I was facing was that I was getting bored. So the thing with me is that after studying an entire chapter, I do not feel like studying it again, like the whole entire chapter. I do not feel like revising it. I just can't. It feels like such a huge burden. So that was really hindering my revision because I just did not feel like opening my notes to just look at those chapters again and see them and study them again. I just, I'm not built like that. So it was really hard for me. The second problem, the second problem was that, well, I'm lazy and being lazy, I do not want to revise entire chapters. I want to work specifically on things that I'm weak at and not waste my time on the rest of the syllabus, which I know pretty well. The best thing about this type of revision is that this is a targeted revision. So it helps you focus only on the topics that require your urgent attention, topics that are really weak and that can harm you in your exam. This will save your time and make you focus on things that actually matter. Basically, this entire revision strategy completely streamlined my revision and made it bearable to study. So I was able to start studying again because of this. So let's get into the details. Details. As I mentioned, the entire strategy is built around mock tests. So and to even get started with mock tests, you need to at least have a basic knowledge of the entire J syllabus, which means you need to revise the entire syllabus at least once. For this, basically, you need to approximately cut out a month of your time after you finish your syllabus to revise the eight in entirety properly. Well, of course, this is an approximate number and it will vary from person to person depending on how deeply you study a topic, how well you learn, how many of your topics are weak or strong, etc, etc, etc. So there are a lot of factors to consider in, but well, approximately it should take you about 30, 35 days uh, to complete the syllabus. If it, if you think it will take you more, try and reduce it, try and work harder, try and work longer hours and try to complete it in like about 25, 30 days um, so that you have enough time to move on to the second phase of this um, revision strategy that I'll be talking about. Well, you're in luck. I was in a situation just like you and I created for myself a revision schedule in Notion. Also, since this planner slash schedule is in Notion, you can download the template below and leave the link. You just have to, a lot of people ask me how to duplicate the template. so. You just go to the link below and click the duplicate button on the top right hand corner and you if you don't have an account of non notion you'll have to make one before you can copy it into your notion uh, otherwise it should just arrive in your notion safe and sound as a template so yeah that's how you duplicate it okay coming back to my planner as you can see um, in the schedule of my initial revision i have chosen the topics in the order that they are taught in so basically in the chronological order from the starting of 11 till the end of 12 you can see that i have started my revision from stoichiometry kinematics and quadratic equation and i'm ending it at um, i don't know I, I actually don't remember you can see it on the screen well it's not like i have a script i can read off to off off so uh, i decided how long i'll give to any chapter based on how good I was at it and you know how big of a chapter it was. So since you have the planner in the description below, you can edit the duration of any chapter 
or the schedule itself to your heart's content go crazy on it make it whatever you feel like you caters to your way of studying best do i have any specific tips for revision no not really because this is like normal revision just follow a checklist uh, i think that would be it make a revision checklist follow it for every chapter and just try and complete it you know follow a revision schedule revise all topics at least once properly and then congratulations you are ready to give mock tests all right let's come to the cream of the crop let's talk about how we can use mock tests for revision so if you don't already know i really like mock tests they are the most versatile tool you can use as a j aspirant they have so so many amazing uses and i actually have a video on those uses which you can see up here somewhere and you can go check that out because in that video i also tell you how you can analyze and select your weak topics for revision uh, so that would be an introduction of sorts like how you can use notion for it that actually yeah that's in another video i'll link that one also here uh, that's in another video i don't know why i've made so many videos about notion mock tests more on the way by the way um anyway coming back to the topic yeah that would mark sort of an introduction as to how this whole strategy works selecting your weak topics so go ch check those videos out and i'll continue the story here just like you did for initial revision you should obviously make a schedule here as well because you will always always see better results when you plan things out anyway um your schedule as i said will revolve around mock tests and when you're just starting out i recommend that you give at least one test a week um you can increase the frequency later once you're comfortable with this uh, velocity of taking mock tests but yeah give one test a week and spend the days between tests just revising and brushing up on your weak topics all right you have completed your initial revision you have given a mock test you have analyzed it and you have selected your weak topics it is time to work on them so this is how i did it pretty much um so firstly refer to your revision checklist and then you have to work on the topic that you messed up in your tests right you have to work on that topic only not a chapter a specific topic for example if you messed up a question of the limit of a sum uh, like topic which uh, comes under the chapter of definite integration work on the limit of sum only look at the formula for that particular topic look at the class illustrations practice those class illustrations again the solved examples the questions that you've done in class with your teacher practice those questions again and practice your workbooks practice your modules practice your coaching materials practice some your reference book anything anything again just do them again just practice 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 until you think you're getting it right you know you have the entire weeks worth of time when you're initially starting out to do this and you have to do this for all your weak topics this was just an example so basically this is what you will do you identify your weak topic you will work on it go through the entire checklist you will revise notes formulae questions class illustrations pyqs if you haven't done them already well you should but if you haven't you can do them here as well so yeah basically just try and brush up on your weak topics as much as you can after the next mock test you should do this again just analyze and select your weak topics again and this time you'll notice that you'll 90% of the time have different weak topics this time and your task for the next week until the next mock test work on these new weak topics the the reason i like recommend giving 12 to 15 day uh, tests before you um actually attempt your je is just this because every time you give a test you're really highly likely to find a new weakness in new topic that you did not need you did not know you had so this is a very good way to basically just weed out you know like hidden weaknesses that you might have and eradicate them so by the time you're ready for je you you would have been given uh, you would have given so many walk tests and you would have 
like worked on so many of your week topics that you, you should like should if you don't mess up in your exam should get a very good rank because you've revised and brushed up on all the topics so many times well or your week ones at least also if you want to switch to a, a shorter frequency between mock tests after 2 3 weeks or whenever you feel like you're comfortable with the one week a uh, gap between tests i suggest you switch to two mocks a week which is what i was following i was doing a mock test on sunday and a mock test on wednesday and i was spending the time between them uh, covering up on my week topics so you can definitely try that you know like giving a lot of mock tests also helps in your confidence well i won't talk about it in here i have a video about it as i said now and i've explained all the benefits of mock tests there in the end it is a pretty good strategy to improve your week topics right before your exam anyway that is all for today now, thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed the content hit the like button and subscribe for more things like this um i know this wasn't a guide to jee video but it's a tip nonetheless and i'll be in back next week hopefully next or next next week with the next episode that's a lot of next the next episode of my guide to jee which will be dedicated to online learning i know a lot of you have been asking for that and i'm making basically a master guide to online learning so i hope you'll enjoy that and i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next week